Here we go with Popmaster. Andy Ballard is first from Woking in Surrey. Morning, Andy. Good morning, Ken. How are you today? I'm perfectly fine. How are you? Oh, I'm perfectly fine as well. That's two of us. Lovely. What are you doing this morning? Um, I'm talking to you on the radio (laughs) and uh, hanging around waiting to go into London. All right. Anything exciting in London? Uh, Just a lunch at uh, the delightful Canary Wharf. Oh, that's all right. That sounds rather good. Very Mm. nice. Uh, And as long as you're not paying for it. Which I'm not. Good. (laughs) Win, win, win. All the way. Tell me about your family. Who have you got? Uh, wife Anne, and I have four, I can't really call them kids anymore, because most of them are grown up, but uh, Daisy, Ellis, Heather and Jamie. Lovely. And um, when you've got some time to yourself, what do you like to do? Uh, well, I have a little recording studio, Whoa. and I record really bad songs. I mean, trust me, they are really bad. Um, so I do a bit of that, and I like to go to the theatre, and I like to read, and that's the kind of stuff. All right, do you have hopes of getting your songs published, recorded out there? Uh, no, I think they're probably better off trashed. Well, maybe maybe there's just one that's going to come through and uh, be the the money spinner that will keep you in luxury for the rest of your life. I live in hope. <laughs> keep hoping. Keep yeah. hoping. Well, I have one of two hits, or the name is Bruce. One of two hits, or the name is Bruce. Uh, first one, please. First one, one of two hits. Okay. <laughs> No offence taken. Right then, we'll do this. Um, big score? Um, 20s. Yeah, good. Yeah. That would be nice. Let's do that. 20s yeah, we'll it is. That. I'll hold you to that. Best of luck, Andy. Thank you. Here they come. Which month of the year provided the group Pilot with the title of their 1975 number one? January. January, that's it, three points. The songs So Lonely, Invisible Sun and King of Pain were all hits in the first half of the 80s for which group? The Police. It was The Police. Bonus question, one of two hits. You're going to hear one of two top ten hits achieved by The Tourists. Can you give me the title of the other, please? The Tourists, what was their other top ten hit? Well, that was the Annie Lennox band. I think it was a Dusty Springfield cover, but it's not coming. Oh, oh, God, you knew everything else. <laughs> I was busy giving you the pass, writing down the points there, because I thought you had it. No, it's I Only Want to Be With You. That's the one. Uh, yeah. Well, I'll give myself those points. Yeah. What type of fool did the Cardigans sing about on their top three song of 1997? Um, the Cardigans. Something, yeah. something fool. Perfect Fool? Not perfect, I'm afraid. Love Fool. Okay. Love Fool. A single, by the way, was originally released in 1996 when it reached number 21, but it was re-released in 97, and that's when it reached number 2. There we go. The 1982 single, My Girl Lollipop, brackets, My Boy Lollipop, close brackets, was the final top ten single for which group? Um... Group in 1982. Five, four... Three, two, one. No. No, it's gone, Ken. That was Bad Manners. No, okay, yeah. yeah. Here's a bonus question. One of two hits. You're about to hear one of two top 40 hits achieved by Blackfoot Sue in the 70s. Can you please name the other? Blackfoot Sue in the 70s, what was their other top 40 hit? Don't know. Okay. Standing in the Road. That no, was the title. No, I don't know that one. Okay. In which year did this week's top three have? Coming up by Paul McCartney at number three. What's Another Year by Johnny Logan at number two? And Gino by Dexy's Midnight Runners at number one. Uh, that would be 1982? No, actually, two years ago. It was 1980. Ooh. Released in March, Wonderland is the title of the current album by which group? Uh, Take 
that. It is. Take that. Very good. Well done. Bonus question. One of two hits. You're about to hear the first of two top 40 hits achieved in 1979 by Peaches and Herb. Can you name their second and biggest hit? So that's uh, one of two hits by Peaches and Herb. What was their other bigger hit? Uh, no, can't get that. No, uh, it was called Reunited. Oh, uh, yes. Remember? Yeah. Yep. OK, final question. The Four Seasons reached the top ten in the mid-70s with a song that contains these lines. So he paints a pretty picture and he tells you that he needs you and he covers you with flowers and he always keeps you dreaming. What? The night. It is the night. Very good. Well recognised. Uh, it's uh, 12 points, Andy, which is... Um, yeah, I thought you did rather... I mean, it sounded as if you were doing better than that, actually. So, <laughs> so you knew more than that uh, represents. But still, 12 points it is. And uh, whether it will be enough to send Paul Wallace away, we don't know. But he'll be joining us from Romford right after we've had a little bit of Alphaville. <laughs> This time, we're with Paul Wallace of Romford. Morning, Paul. Morning, Ken. How are you? I'm very well. How are you today? Yeah, not bad at all. Just enjoying my last uh, day off before I go back to work. Oh, day off. Oh, you're using the time wisely. Um, well, just kind of lazing around on the city as much as I can. Um, so, yeah, I'd say that's wisely. Yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty wise to me. Well done, that man. Because you work hard when you're out at work, I know. Uh, yeah, I kind of sit on me bottom again but um <laughs> i'm driving a bus <laughs> yeah well that, that's vital work very important very important work um which um garage which routes um i i uh, drive out of tottenham um bus garage and drive routes uh, through london currently on the one two three which goes from uh, wood green to wilford but I, I do other routes as well that goes down to london bridge and waterloo and all the rest of it oh fantastic i am um, as you may know i uh I have an interest in some buses occasionally. I've heard this. And yeah. I, uh, I bought an old one from Tottenham. From Tottenham? So from an old Tottenham bus, yeah. yeah. It been an RM, yeah, was it? It was an RML, yeah. Mm. Yeah, 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 from the 73. A but real bus. Yeah, a proper bus, yeah. Anyway, I'm delighted to have you on the show, uh, especially. Uh, you've been on Pointless as well, though. Yeah, I think that's something we share as well, isn't it? Yeah, well, I think you did rather better than... <laughs> Yeah, it was. I was on with a friend of mine that had pretty good knowledge as well. So uh, between us, um, yeah, we made it to, to the uh, final a couple of years ago on our first uh, appearance, and uh, we managed to win a jackpot, which was quite nice. Fantastic. Yeah, I won't ask how much because it's never that much on pointless, but it's the taking part that counts, isn't it? Well, it was just under six grand. But oh, we poof, blimey! It doesn't normally get that high. That's good. Well done. Well I done. Big, I got a big hunk of glass as well. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, the the famous pointless trophy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was wonderful. We're working on a trophy from here, but you know the paper cups are not. Nobody seems to want them. You know, uh, <laughs> we'll work. We'll see if we can find something else. Right, Paul. Um, can I offer you the name is Bruce or Strictly for the Birds? The name is Bruce or Strictly for the Birds? Mm, OK, let's go with, um, Magnus Bruce. OK, let's take that. Well, now, 12 points scored by Andy earlier on. That is your target for today. So, best of luck, and here they come. <laughs> Please name the lead singer with The Who. Uh, Roger Daltrey. It's Roger Daltrey, three points. What three-word song title has provided different hit singles for... Sam Smith, Erasure, Blue Mink, and The Faces. Um, Same three-word title. Sam Smith, Erasure, Blue Mink, The Faces. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, no. I, I can't think no. Oh uh, No, it's not that one. It's Stay With Me. Oh, OK. OK, bonus question. The name is Bruce. In 1962, this Texan singer achieved his biggest hit with this song. Can you please give me his name? Hey, hey baby, I want to know if you'll be my girl. Who's that? Um, 
my pronunciation might be bad. Is it Bruce Channel or Channel? Chanel, I think is how yeah. he liked it, but uh, it was a long time ago, so that's fine. That's him. Six points. In which year were the songs at number 30, 20 and 10 in this week's chart? A Question of Lust by Depeche Mode, All the Things She Said by Simple Minds, and Greatest Love of All by Whitney Houston. Ooh, which year? Um, 1985. Oh, it's one year oh. out! It's 86. Eight. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The Danish group Alpha Beat had its biggest hit in 2008 with their chart debut and only top ten hit, but was it called Frustration, Fascination or Fabrication? Um, Fascination. It was Fascination, yes. Bonus question. The name is Bruce. I'm going to play you a top ten hit from 1978 by the Patti Smith group. Who co-wrote this song? <laughs> Who co-wrote that? No, that was Bruce Springsteen. He did, indeed. You're right. Bruce Springsteen. Six points. The song We Are Glass was the first hit of the 80s. For which singer? Oh, wonderful. Gary Newman. Gary Newman is right. The Proclaimers reached the top ten in the early 90s with their version of a song that had been number one for Roger Miller in 1965. What's it called? King of the Road. That's the one, yes. Uh, the lead song and radio hit on their King of the Road EP, for those who like the detail. Um, here's a bonus question on The Name is Bruce. In 1987, this actor and singer achieved two top ten hits. I'm going to play you the first of them. Can you please name him? Who's that? Uh, that's Bruce Willis. It and the is. other one was under the boardwalk, I think. You're absolutely right. That's uh, six points for you. Well done. And finally, which American singer had hits in the first half of the 70s with the songs The First Time Ever I Saw Your Face and Feel Like Making Love? Oh, um... Five, four, three, two... No, I can't think of No, people. that's Roberta Flack. She had those. OK, still, very, very good score, Paul. 30 points. Oh, not bad. Excellent. Well done. 30 points. Very, very good score. So you are through to 3 and 10 in a moment or two. At this point, though, we have to bid farewell to Andy Ballard. Bad luck, Andy. Yeah, thanks, Ken. Uh, well done, Paul. Um, very good performance. Thanks, mate. Uh, very kind of you, Andy. We now offer you, before you get your T-shirt, the chance to say hello to anybody you'd like to. Yep, uh, my wife Anne, who is listening upstairs, uh, my daughter Heather, who is probably listening in Bristol University, and Sally, who's in Tunbridge Wells. Great. At least you know where they all are. That's the thing. <laughs> well done, Andy. Great to talk to you. Thanks for being on. Cheers, thanks. Cheers, mate. Bye. There he goes, Andy Ballard of Woking in Surrey. So, Romford in East London, it's Paul Wallace, who's going through to 3 in 10. OK, Paul? Yeah. Here it comes. 10 seconds, three answers today. The titles, please, of three UK single chart hits for... Three in ten. The Beautiful South. Uh, a little time. Yes. Um, my book, you keep it all in. Yeah, 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 um, you've got them. You've got them. Whoever. <laughs> You're going like a train there. Oh, going like a bus, actually. Um, a little time, my book, and you keep it all in. You got those just almost instantly, and then you carried on with a few others. Song for whoever I heard there, but um, you were getting them all. You got The Beautiful South. And um, there are 32 on the list, so um, you, you're a fair old choice, but still, to come up with these, really good work. Brilliant stuff. Well Thanks, done, Paul. Now, go on. Shout out to your friends. Oh, well, that's a great way to uh, end my holidays, isn't it? Um, yeah, I'd just like to say uh, hello to my partner, Sally, who I know is listening in the other room. And um, a big shout out to all my fellow Shaky fans that are currently enjoying Shaky on tour at the moment. I'll see you lot at uh, Reading. Oh, you're a big Shaky Stevens fan, Reading, eh? Sorry, Hastings. <laughs> uh, oh, hey, one of these places. He's a great guy, old Shaky. Great fella. Yeah, he's on a great tour at the moment. We're all really enjoying it. Delighted to hear it. Well, Paul, you've done very well. Uh, digital radio is coming your way right now. Wonderful. Thanks, Thanks for being on. All the best. Bye bye now. Bye. Paul Wallace. <laughs>